I chose Ohio State because uh, growing up, I was born a Buckeye. My dad went here, my older brother went here, my older sister went here. So me and my twin brother, we kind of made the decision that this was uh, the place for us, just too many opportunities. And so that's why we ended up coming to Ohio State. I transferred here my junior year, so finding that like community was super helpful. When I was looking at other schools and different possibilities where I could go, Ohio State to me had the most options as far as majors go, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do, so having a place with a ton of different variety really helped take the pressure off of me to decide so quickly what I wanted to do. And then um, also it had a film studies program, and then uh, my parents wanted me to go somewhere a little bit renowned, so it was a perfect place. So once I found the film studies department, I found like the video arts minor within that. Um, it really like brought me to kind of a community and made me feel like more at home and a new like big place. Uh, I study moving image production because not only do I love watching movies in my free time and it's something I do probably too much, but producing and being behind the scenes in a movie is one of those rare things for me where when you're working on it every day it doesn't feel like work at all. Like you're just, the day flies by because you're doing something that you enjoy so much and in the moving image production major, there are so many opportunities to be constantly working on film that it just keeps me busy and makes me feel like I'm actually accomplishing something. I was able to get involved with uh, the Ohio State football team. I'm a student intern with them. Um, I, like I said, I started filming for our student section and that gave me the exposure to sports and filming that type of content. So I reached out to the football program and I was able to secure an internship there and where Every single week I'm putting out new videos in season. Uh, I really focus on kind of hype videos and kind of promote the games and get people excited for it. And then once that game is finished, then the following week I'm putting out an actual recap video, a highlight video of the game to, if people weren't at the game or even were at the game, it's another way for them to be exposed to the game and experience that not too many people get to, get to go through and it's something that I'm very grateful for. So the one reason why I really enjoy making uh, promo videos or hype videos for the team is it's really unique when you'll see students on campus watching these videos and saying oh I can't wait to go to the, this, the game this Saturday and it really shows your work has a direct impact on the student body and fans across the country. I'm working on an action short right now it doesn't have a title yet and honestly there is really no story it's basically like a home invasion action film, but like there's like a little bit of the implying things that like it's not just home invasion, it's most likely like contracted hit. But I really didn't focus on the story itself, but I really more focus on the building up the tension and the release of the tension, which is the action. Just the hardest thing was that uh, figuring out the angle that makes it look like the punches connect. This time I decided to put a little bit more shake in the camera and I decided to do the handheld this time. You get like all the satisfaction once you see like that old editor fight, but um, to get to that point, it's a real struggle. One of my favorite parts about uh, getting involved into the film studies program is that not only do I love what I'm doing, but I also get involved with people that love doing the same things that I do. And there are plenty of clubs on campus, um, one that I am a part of, and we do things every semester where we're making a short film, or making little side projects and not only are we learning um, more about film and how to make it but also uh, learning how to interact with people that are also interested in the same things. It's, it's been a really great opportunity to network with some like-minded people. So in my experimental film class uh, one of our first projects was a continuous one-shot project. It had to be like about a minute long and it was a bit hard for me just because it was the first project and after taking a narrative film class, I was kind of stuck in that mindset of telling a story. So although this one shot does tell a bit of a story, I tried to include some aspects that made it a bit more artistic and abstract, like the lighting, contrasting colors that went along with the character's conflicting choice that he was making during this video. At Ohio State, it's really awesome because um, I was really nervous coming here originally because I thought I was the only one who didn't know what they wanted to do and then you get here and there's so many people and because there's so many people, Ohio State's really accepting of everyone's different likes and dislikes and 
there are majors for everybody and there are, you're always going to be able to find like-minded people in some aspect at Ohio State. You know, people in real life have to conform to a certain sort of like normal life and try to live that life, but in movies you can do almost whatever you want and you can see a bunch of different stories that you may not have experienced and I feel like that's like alternate experience for them that they can never have. Once I found the film studies program, it really motivated me and validated my decision of coming to Ohio State just because I was able to find a community within the film studies program. I'm super grateful that I've been able to find my passion here at Ohio State and that it'll hopefully set me up for a successful career in the future.